Hello Taurus, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly love reading with me Deborah. Thank you for clicking onto the reading. I really appreciate you coming in here. Let's get a message out for you. Let's have a look and see. Um, from the 1st until the 7th of um, October, no, November Deborah. what messages are coming through for you? I am going to look and see what's been going on in the recent past recent and what's coming in in the near future and we are going to get advice from your spirit guides with regards to whatever we see here on the table so let's get started remember Taurus if it's your reading you will know immediately from the first few cards that I take out if it is not then check your rising your moon and even your Venus as well which has got to do with love as well um what else um Remember, take what does, leave what doesn't, because there's always a message when you go into a tarot reading. So let's get started. Nine of Pentacles in the recent past, in the reverse position. There was a breakup in the recent past. What happened? There were so many breakups recently. What What is going on? Um, the Nine of Pentacles or the Five of Materials, there was recently a breakup. It has already occurred. And you left this connection because this person was not good for you. Okay, they are hurt you. No wonder. This would not be good for anybody. The Ten of Voices, which is Ten of Swords in the reverse position, they did things to you that was absolutely no promise of stability. They may have used you in some kind of way as well, and their actions and their behavior really hurt you. So let's see. Yeah, no, hey, whoa, Taurus, what's up with this energy? I hope you're healing from this. The Three of Swords, you. Uh, alone right now or you've been recently alone and um, that sadness that's isolation it can be also a third party situation it can be somebody that literally went out there and betrayed you um in a relationship so let's see it's a very straightforward top row reading there very straightforward energy let's see what's going on what's going on what's coming in the, in the near future now What's next for my Tauruses? Please, with regards to your relationships, what is happening here? I hope this person's in your past now. You know what I'm saying? I hope they, they, they've they pulled out or you've pushed them out. Let's have a look and see. Um, yes, you did. Very good. Yes, I was wondering, are you... Here? How are you still doing something with this person? Are you still connecting with them? Is it still ongoing thing? No, Queen of Swords shows that if you haven't done it already, you will. You're going to push this person out. Queen of Swords is a very thoughtful energy. The Queen of Swords as well, what you need to know, the Queen of Swords doesn't always use um, her, what do you call this? Her heart when she makes decisions, male or female energy. She uses her logic. She uses her mind, not her feelings. And um, she then makes decisions from there. Okay, very logical, like Let's move the heart out of the way a little bit there. So let's see. Devil energy coming in here. Capricorn as well. Nine of Cups. Hmm. And the Five of Pentacles again. This person is not done. You know, I wanted to say, excuse me guys, in the reading, when I was taking the second row out, I was like, I don't feel like you guys are done. That's why I asked. I hope, are you still dealing with this person? Are you, are you done? Have you pushed them out? <laughs> you have pushed them out, but they're coming back again. And they're repeating another cycle with you. Again, they want to repeat another cycle. But what they gave you in the past is just going to be what they're going to give you in the future again. Because this reading is quite interesting. You've literally got the devil card. Yes, this could be some kind of codependent situation. Devil energy can mean codependent relationships, which is not a positive thing. Um, it's like an energy of, I need to be with you. I want to be with you. I'm so in love with you. I can't live my life without you. Okay. Um, it can be what drives them to come back in. But you got a five of materials here. And you got a five of materials there. You got a nine of cups here in the reverse position. Nine of pentacles in the reverse position. And you got a nine of cups in the reverse position there as well. Do you see a repetitive cycle about to take place? There is a repeat that's going to happen here. In the near future. This person will try to come in. Be careful as well. Because with a devil card being there. That's a card of passion. That's a card of seduction, especially associated with this kind of situation. This person can come in and try to seduce you. And when they do that, um, you will fall back with them. Your heart will go back to them. Remember what the queen is doing. She's protecting herself against the devil. Okay. And literally she is not allowing her heart to get activated here. 
allowing herself to be seduced. Nobody's going to come in and seduce the Queen of Wands or the, sorry, the Queen of Swords energy unless she wants it. You know what I'm saying? But you got the Nine of Cups here and this person that you're dealing with here, first of all, they couldn't be supportive of you in a connection here. They couldn't have your back. They couldn't be there for you when you needed them or even just to be there with you in a relationship. With the Nine of Cups, you need to know they understand their personality. This is quite a selfish person. Um, a little bit spoiled. No, not a little bit spoiled. They're spoiled. They're selfish. They're um, egotistical. They literally think only about themselves. You see? It can be them coming in here going, I miss you so much and I want to be with you and I am lonely and I'm alone. I, 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 I. What about you? That's how they like to talk. I do this and I feel and I want and I need and I, I, I. They don't ever ask what you need or what you want. That selfish energy and the love that you do give them, they literally take it for granted. Literally take it for granted. Again, there is a threat in the future of a breakup here. So let's see. Spirit guides, my goodness gracious me. Can you please advise us here? Can you please advise us going forward? What do we need to see with regards to this connection? What do we need to see? I saw a six of cups flipping. Memories from the past. Mm -hmm. So let's go in here and have a look. Advice, please. Three of swords. Be careful. Oh, you just have to be joking with me. Again. You're about to repeat a cycle with somebody. If you take this person back, they're going to break your heart again. You're going to be left alone and you're going to be sad when you are alone. Three of Swords has literally came up in your reading. Two Five of Pentacles, literally the same card, complete different decks. Let's have a look and see. you got to let this go, guys. Six of Swords is something you can... I feel like your spirit guide's going, you cannot repeat the cycle with this person again. You just can't do this. I don't think your heart can take it. Why are you doing this? Don't do it. Don't do it. And I feel a lot of you guys out there are not going to do it. A lot of you guys are like, oh, Deborah, oh, hell no. I will never. And this is amazing. That's good. They're literally saying, don't do this. Walk away from this. Go away from this. Six of Swords is also literally spirit guides trying to guide you somewhere, trying to take you away from this. Okay? So let's see. This person is definitely coming back in. They will not give you stability. King of Pentacles. They will not give you the stability that you want from a connection. King of Pentacles in the reverse position. Literally, you got a queen and a king of Pentacles. Yes, you guys connect with each other, but they don't offer what it is that you need. Okay? And the emperor in the reverse position. They will put, they go cold on you. The Aries energy is coming here now as well. The emperor is Aries. They do go cold on you. They literally... Um, at one at a certain point in time they don't offer stability but they offer passion and connection and craziness you know that that flirtation that all that stuff but when it comes to long term they turn their back on you and they focus again on themselves even the emperor can be a little bit selfish can be a little bit egotistical thinking a lot about them self because they are the emperor so they feel like everybody needs to worship the ground that they work walk on let's get let's turn the decks let's see what's under the decks you have to make this decision now it's something that you're going to have to do you got a five of wands coming up here which is the energy of you really needing to make a decision about what you're going to do next um it can be worrying you as well let's see under this deck here remember oh my again you got repetitive cards. You got the same nine of pentacles, different decks again. This is the same card. And you got stability. That's what you value. That's what you're looking for. And remember, seven of pentacles, the king is not interested in that, especially when it's in the reverse position. They won't be able to offer you and support you in life and in a relationship um, going forward. They only really think about themselves. So let's see what comes out under this deck here. Be careful. Seven of Wands, a repetitive cycle. Something here will cut, catch you off guard. Their behavior will catch you off guard. If you do have to move, if you get caught up with them and you get caught up in the connection again, they're going to do exactly what they did in the past. They're going to totally repeat what they did. And it's going to catch you completely off guard. So be careful. It's a be careful reading. Oh my goodness. There we go, Taurus. Thank you so much for coming in. For a lot of you guys, I think... You're going, Deborah, 
I will never. And I'm very happy for you because you will not repeat a cycle. For those of you who get tempted, and sometimes we can even say, I will never. And guess what? We end up doing something we thought we would never do. So just be careful. There's something here that's going to catch you off guard. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm really wishing you the best as you move forward. Bye.